Welcome to my Super Mario Shanesan Any% Percent tutorial series. In this video, I will go through basic movement and tricks as well as route and person differences. First, I wanna talk about the different styles of movement as well as the names I'll be using for them throughout this tutorial. One of the most common methods to move faster from place to place is called a water slide. It can be done by using the regular nozzle and jump diving into the water that is left on the ground. Hover nozzle can also be used and in this case it is usually called a hover slide. Blood has two states when you are using it and when you are not. These states are called active and inactive. Doing a hover slide is harder and less consistent if you start it when blood is inactive. This has lead runners to start with a regular nozzle, then switch to hover nozzle to start sliding. It's very consistent and I highly recommend learning it. To do it with the hover nozzle by itself, you can use a dive rollout. During the rollout, tap R to put blood in an active state and start the hover slide after landing. Spin jumping is very useful and should not be ignored when speedrunning this game. It's very easy to control the direction of the spin jump. You can do it straight after jumping and even just spinning mid-air can be useful. There are three kinds of spin jumps. First of all, there are regular spin jumps, but they're nothing special compared to more advanced styles. Those are buffered and momentum spin jumps. A buffered spin jump is when you spin jump after walking couple steps on ground, like this. It gives extra height and speed. A momentum spin jump can be done if you have high speed or when you roll out against a slope and spin jump immediately after landing to keep your speed. Everyone learning this game has to learn span spraying. To do a large spray with blood, you press R then A. However, this normally results in a backflip, which we don't want to happen. If we do this in mid-air, we don't get the backflip and can then get 2 to 3 span sprays extremely quickly. The best way to learn this is to get into habit of pressing R and A at the same time after jumping off the ground. It takes a while to get used to and I highly recommend not mashing R and A. Having a rhythm of when to press these two buttons helps a lot. First person mode can be active by pressing the Y button. With this you can spray precisely in certain spots, move right and left in mid-air and it can also be helpful with spin jumping. For example, it is used to turn in mid-air to get on top of the shine gate. This isn't necessary for beginners to learn, but over time you may want to start learning this. There are two variants of glitchy ball kicks. The first is standard glitchy ball kick, aka GWK. The second is a glitchy ball kick dive, aka GWKD. When you are hitting a wall and about to slide, you can do a GWK by going into first person. This is done by pressing the Y button and then pressing A immediately after it. This makes Mario to wall jump into the wall instead of away from it. This can be useful in specific shines like in Bianca 4 red coins. For a GWKD, you are also pressing the B button immediately after A and now it becomes much harder. You have to press Y, then A and B within the next two frames. It has its use in stages like Pianta 3. Over time people have found more uses for it, rather than just being a spike strat. Now let's talk about different routes and person differences. To unlock Corona Mountain, Shota Mario has to be beaten in every stage by fighting him in episode 7. This means you have a few different routes to choose from. Do 
Starting with Bianco Hills, your main aim is to get shines to open Rico and Gelato. Rico Harbor opens with 3 shines, Gelato Beach opens with 5 shines, and Pina Park opens after opening both Rico and Gelato with a total of 10 shines. After Pina 4, you unlock Yoshi across the whole game. This gives you access to Serna Beach. There are ways to get to Serna whenever you want, but for the sake of simplicity, I won't explain it in this tutorial. Noki Pay unlocks at 20 shines, and finally, Pienta Village is always open. There are three different versions of the game, and each version has a few exclusive tricks and benefits. NTSCJ, aka the Japanese version, is the best version to use for speedrunning. It has fast text, and loading times are better when going back to Delphina Plaza after collecting a shine. However, it has no fruit storage, and a harder Serena 6 due to there being a much trickster coop requirement as well as invisible coop. PAL, aka the European version, is the second best to use. It actually has the fastest text, since Italian text is faster than Japanese text. But loading times are not as fast as the Japanese version. Root storage is available and Serena 6 is easier. NTSAU, aka the American version, is the slowest version. It's mostly the same as PAL, except it doesn't have Italian text. It doesn't matter which version you have to begin with, they are all good enough to use while learning the game. Later if you feel you are going to spend more time speedrunning this game, it isn't a bad idea to invest in a Japanese copy, which is definitely the best version to speedrun this game on. If you feel there was anything I missed, feel free to leave a comment and I will answer your questions. Thanks for watching.